Hey, YouTube, it's J.P. Dillon. Welcome to part two of the late 40s Emerson 10-inch. This is a model 614 as somebody turned on to me, and you wonder why it's a little bit dim here today. I turned the lights off in the shop so we can see what's going on with this thing. In the last video, we checked voltages and stuff at the CRT and the high voltage, and uh, based on information that was fed to me by the community of people that are familiar with these sets, the voltages that I have are the correct voltages. So although they may seem odd to me, this is how it's supposed to work. So in theory, we should have light on the screen, but we do not. Or at least we have very dim light. I spent some time messing with the ion trap and was able to get a very dim raster, which I'll show you in just a moment. So I am beginning to wonder if either A, we're not getting proper video drive from the video amps, and we'll check that, or if we actually do have some form of a dud CRT, because I guess this CRT was shipped to them, so we don't know if the guns are out of the gun is out of place or there was some sort of physical injury to the inside, although it doesn't look like it at first glance. But we do have the original CRT to swap out if need be. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is we're going to cut the lights and we're going to turn this on let it warm up and then i want to show you which you may or may not be able to see a little tiny bit of light on the screen that appears that's not very bright but it is there So it is hard to see. So let me turn out more lights here. And let's just go all black. And we can see that there's a tiny little sliver of light on the screen there. Doesn't look right, does it? We should be seeing... A full field and so if I grab the ion trap here and we start a tweaking we see that that gets dimmer or brighter but it's never quite right so and I see through the window of the CRT, that little beam there. We're just not getting any kind of real deflection. So I'm wondering if this gun is damaged. It may test for good emission and stuff, but as you can see, we have no real raster on the screen. It's just not looking too good for this. And if we shut it down, just, yeah. So anyways, uh, I have a feeling that this CRT may be a dud. And that could have been from shipping injuries, which sucks because it has hot emission on it. But uh, unfortunately, it's not playing. It's not producing a screen. So, let me go ahead and discharge this. And here is my primitive discharge tool, which is just clip into the chassis here. Just hold this to the high voltage lead. We should be good there. And I think what we need to do now is uh, pull the CRT out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect the socket from the back. Pull our ion trap off. Once we get it out of here, we'll have a better opportunity to take a look at the gun and see if it's bent or messed up inside of here. 
and there's a wing nut that we have to loosen here. Not the easiest place to grab, so we'll get the duck bills and give it a twist. out we'll just guide it out here very carefully trying not to destroy the yoke oh, the chassis didn't come with it all right so there it is she's out in the way I'm just going to set it down here for a moment. We'll take a look at it. Let me get the camera relocated. So there it is. And what we're doing is just looking for any signs of damage. That cathode's pretty dark looking. That definitely looks uh, a little skewed from my vantage at least. Get her flashing looks okay. Wish it would focus better on this. So I think this might have been injured in shipping because if we take a look at where the gun is, it's way off. It's kind of like angled off to this corner here. So that's not good. Uh, that might have been injured. Well, one way to tell is to put the old one back in and see uh, how that looks. All right, so here's the CRT that was pulled out of it. This is the one that was from the original this is the original one that was in the set and if we look through the little window here we can see that the gun assembly come on focus the gun assembly is uh, centered in there instead of skewed to one side so I don't remember what this one tested like I don't think it tested very good uh, but it may be our only hope Let's go ahead and stick it on the Beltron and see what the Beltron says. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, turn our filament voltage up. And we'll watch the green meter. That's yeah, a little tired. Normal is about 0.8. The diamond after 0.8 would be good. Let's see if she'll do go through a cleaning cycle here. Yeah, no light. Go through a redo cycle. Yeah, I just don't respond to nothing. <clears throat> She's just tired. So, we're not going to get a great picture out of this one, but assuming that the gun isn't messed up, then we should get a picture. So, now the next thing to do is to go ahead and put it back in the set. All right. Really needs a little bit of tape to hold it still. So we're going to 
and strap this guy up here. Just to keep it there. All right, so we're going to very carefully guide this bit back in. Using as little force as possible. All right. And we're just going to push it all the way back till it stops. Strap loaded up. And you want to make sure there's a lip along here that you center this in the lip. You don't put any kind of stress here on the outer lens. That would be a bad thing. Tighten down. I put this in the worst place possible. You can't really get your fingers around it. Really, no more than hand tight. Just enough so it don't move. Let's uh, hook up our high voltage lead. And let's hook up our socket. socket was of course loose so I gotta pay attention to that. So I'll put some bonding around that to hold it in place assuming this works. Alright um, so that should be that. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if we get any kind of raster on the screen. I've still got nothing. Very interesting. Yep, still no, no signs of life. I got high voltage arc. So we got high voltage. Let's turn the lights out a bit and see if uh, it was like the last one. Come on, focus for me. Placed our ion trap. Yep, nothing. No sign of uh, illumination. We see the shadow of the camera, that's about it. So what is going on here? And no sign of life whatsoever from that screen. We at least got a 
inkling of a raster on the other one. So what's going on here? The fact that we had a beam of light off to here somewhere, or a strange beam down here, makes me wonder if we have a, a failure of the deflection nuke or something. That's fine. But I have left that connected in hopes that there would be some form of a raster. Let's take a look underneath here. Does the owner change the CRT in this? Well, that's kind of unsafe and close to the short there. There's a lot of kind of slapdash work. I don't think he did that work, but still something to note. I'm pretty sure our B voltage fuse is probably alive here. That looks happy. See if the ESR meter says it's alive. Yep, that's a good fuse. Not really fond of this either, but uh, let's trace out the yoke wires and see if we have a a fault in the yoke somewhere. Well, I am amazed. I put the uh, new CRT back in and I still didn't get any kind of picture. And I found that I really had to get the ion trap in that right spot. That perfect spot. And the window of adjustment is so narrow. I had to do it with the lights off. And then I was able to find the sweet spot. So now I have, you know, a raster. So that's a start. There wasn't anything wrong with the yoke. I checked the voltages on everything and it was cool. It's just that when they replaced the CRT, they didn't get the ion trap right. And if you so much as move it, even a couple degrees off and a couple of millimeters it just goes completely dark so that's a new one on me i've never worked with the dual field ion trap it was always a single this thing is so touchy now you can see that we have some vertical issues just our focus it's our vertical something or other Get all these size adjustments and whatnot. There's our drive. We'll tweak all that later. But man. Okay, so watch. Watch is I'll just turn. I'm going to move the ion trap maybe a half an inch. Gone. Two millimeters forward. Gone. We get shadowing and all sorts of stuff that happens here. So that is so touchy. That ion trap is just so touchy. If I hadn't fiddled with it for a good 20 or 30 minutes, I would have never figured that out. But yeah, we got a nice, super bright raster here. There's no information yet. I don't have anything hooked up to the tuner. Contrast. Oh, this is our vertical hold. This must be the contrast there. Yeah, so we're on our way. Couldn't believe that. So when they replaced the picture tube, they didn't get a picture because they didn't have the ion trap set right. And that's just way too picky. All right. Well, at least we've got that part resolved. So now that we've got that down... Let's see what it looks like if we hook up a signal to it. Okay, so right now, 
we have a very washed out picture with no contrast or anything that's with the the agc or the uh, contrast control cranked all the way up and it has very poor sync Fine tuning only helps it very, very small. Yeah, the sink is like super weak. So we definitely have some IF and or video issues here. But yeah, if you make if you back off the screen to where the retrace goes away, you can see it's just barely visible. So we definitely need to focus on troubleshooting IF and video stages because that's just, ugh, that's not even watchable. This is in a normally lit room. I suppose if we turn the lights off, we could kind of see it. But we have good screen voltage. Just no contrast, no video information. Yeah, all right, so... More troubleshooting in store, but at the very least, we did get it to display a raster, so that's good. All because of the ion trap. Chasing my tail because of the ion trap. So, if I hadn't done the setups in a dimly lit room, I would have never figured it out. Or maybe I would have, and it would have taken me forever. So, anyways, that's it for part two. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, next we'll work on dealing with the IF and the video sections, which obviously need some help. So, more stuff to come.